If you watched my mega review, then you already know I'm a big fan. But what if I told you there are some equally impressive alternatives out there, and in certain ways, even better than mega? Come with me. In this video, we're going to explore three mega alternatives you may want to consider. We will uncover their security and privacy, key features, and collaboration tools. We will also look at each provider's speed and, obviously, pricing. Let's get right into it. It is not really a secret anymore. Sync.com is our go-to cloud storage service. Why? Well, let's start with security. They encrypt your data using 256-bit encryption and TLS. These are standard security protocols and pretty impossible to break through, at least in 2024. Sync.com provides zero-knowledge encryption, something regular viewers know I really, really care about. If you don't know, it basically means nobody inside or outside Sync.com can access or scan your files. And to make it even more secure, they added two-factor authentication to make it harder for anyone to get into your account. One more thing, Sync.com's based in Canada, which means they play ball with the Personal Information Protection and Electronic Documents Act, or P-I-P-E-D-A for short. It's very similar to the EU's GDPR, which Sync.com also adheres to, by the way. And basically, these acts give more power to you, to the user surrounding your data. It's like having control over how private companies use personal data and how long they store it for. Now, about Sync.com's data practices, there are pretty upfront about what they collect and how they use it. We've gone through their policies and I've got to say, we didn't spot any major red flags. No unnecessary data sharing or content scanning. It's just how we like it here at CloudWords. Moving on to features. Sync.com's web interface is different. They've got a top menu bar instead of the usual left-hand sidebar, love it or hate it. It's there. They've got desktop apps for Mac and Windows and mobile apps for iOS and Android, I've put them all through their paces. And I really like the mobile app. They have full account access and you can automatically upload images from your camera or smartphone to the to pCloud. Oh, and Sync Pro and business users can stream audio and video files via the mobile app. Pretty neat. Sync.com has a feature called Vault that can really, really help you save space in your hard drive. You can store files in a cloud-only storage space, but they won't show up in your sync folder on your desktop and they don't sync to other devices. It's basically perfect for stuff you want to keep but don't use very often or don't want to share with team members. This feature is available on both the web panel and on the mobile apps. Unfortunately, Sync.com does not support block level sync, which, okay, let me break that down for you. It means only the parts of a file that change get uploaded, not the whole thing. So it's a real time saver usually. For example, thanks to this feature, pCloud and Mega have better performance when it comes to updating files in your account. Let's talk about file sharing. You can share files by link or via email, and with a paid account, you can get a bit more, let's say, control. You can set permissions, you know, decide if people can edit or just view what you're sharing. And when you're sharing via links, you can set expiration dates and determine the number of downloads of a file or of a link. Though these features are only available on the paid plans. Now, even if you're on the free version, you still get password protection for your shared links. And before I forget, you can turn comments on or off. They get it. Sometimes you want feedback, sometimes you just don't. <laughs> I'll want to quickly touch on collaboration because it's an area Sync.com outdoes mega. Sync includes Microsoft Office and Office 365 integration. So it is easy to open and edit Office Docs stored in your cloud using Office for mobile, web, or desktop apps. You can then save those edits directly back to Sync.com. You can also work on a document in real time with other users. Let's talk about speed. We put Sync.com through its paces using our virtual servers. Now, 
we throttled them to 100 gigabits per second, and we tried uploading and downloading a five gigabit file. And well, let's just say sync.com wasn't exactly breaking any speed records. For uploads, it took about 10 minutes. Downloads were even slower. It took around 15 minutes. That's considerably slower than Mega, which is between seven to eight minutes for uploads and downloads. And we've put all the major cloud storage services uh, speed to the test. And you can find all of our findings on cloudwords.net. I'll leave the links in the description box below so you can bruise all the speed tests at your own leisure. Let's talk about pricing. Sync.com's got a free plan, but it's only five gigabytes of storage. I mean, compared to Mega's 20 gigabytes free offer, it's, well, it's not much. <laughs> if you need more space, their solo basic plan gives you two terabytes. It comes in at an excellent value and cheaper than most of the competition, but they bill annually. For some reason, they just don't want to do month to month options in the lower tiers. Now, if we want to go bigger, there's the solo professional plan. You get six terabytes. And again, it's extremely good value for money. And here at CloudWords, we have a $100 off deal for the first year that you can get if you sign up through one of our links. But this one does have a monthly option, but it works out more expensive, obviously, over the course of the year. They really want you to commit to that annual plan. And as I said, with $100 savings, it might be even worth it. For you business users out there, sync.com has got a team plan and they start at one terabyte and also come with unlimited storage plans. And if you've got a big team, they even offer the enterprise plan with unlimited storage. But that's for really the big leagues or the big companies. You need like a minimum of 100 users for that one. Let's talk about our next contender, and that is pCloud. Security-wise, they're using AES 256-bit encryption for your files and 4096-bit RSA for your encryption keys. They also offer two-factor authentication for that extra layer of security. And oh, when you want to share files, you can basically share password-protected links. Now, pCloud offers zero-knowledge encryption through their crypto add-on. That sounds fancy, right? But you got to pay extra for it. Honestly, not a big fan. I mean, sync com includes this in all of their plans and so does mega but here comes the good news you can have both encrypted and non-encrypted folders in your account so you can lock down the sensitive stuff while keeping other files pretty easy to access for data center locations when you sign up for pcloud you get to choose where your data is stored it's either in dallas texas or luxembourg Choice is always good, right? People tend to choose the data center closest to them, and that's basically because the rule is the closer you are to a data center, the faster and smoother will be the performance in the end. But keep in mind, you cannot switch data centers after the fact. About data collection, I know reading privacy policies isn't exactly everyone's idea of a fun Friday night, but hey, someone's gotta do it, right? I took one for the team. They collect the usual stuff you provide, your IP, your device info. They might also get some data from third parties like payment processors, but they're not selling it. So you don't have to worry about your details being passed to third party companies you've really never even heard of. Let's talk about pCloud's features. First up is the sync feature, which basically lives within pCloud Drive desktop app. This is a good feature because it lets you interact with your cloud files on your local computer. Even if you lose your internet connection, you can still work with your files offline. And once you're back online, pCloud Drive syncs and updates everything so you have everything across all of your devices back again. And pCloud also has block level sync. So those edited files, will update more quickly in the cloud because, you know, just uploads the portion of the file, the zeros and ones that actually changed. A mobile app feature I found particularly useful is the automatic upload. I've got it to set up, to basically back up all my photos and videos from my phone automatically. Why? Well, let's just say I learned my lesson the hard way. This isn't a unique feature. Other cloud apps do this well. And if you're an iPhone user, you can obviously use iCloud too. But I think it's worth noting for views 
who just want to back up their smartphone snaps and videos and want to distribute the files across multiple clouds because they either don't trust Apple or Google Cloud and just want to have a different alternative here. So speaking of media, pCloud has a built-in media player. I can stream my entire music library straight from the cloud and it handles almost any format I've thrown at it. Plus, once I've played a song, I can listen to it offline. And oh, if you're a music geek like me, you'll love that you can create playlists. It's all very similar to your dedicated MP3 player. pCloud also has some side apps, which I want to tell you about. Like it has a password manager, which it calls pCloud Pass. It's basically a space to store your passwords for various sites so you never forget them. A lot like 1Password if you've ever used that. They also have a browser extension called pCloud Save. It allows you to save files directly from the web, things like photos, videos, audiobooks, anything you save goes directly into the cloud and syncs across your devices. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's talk about how pCloud handles teamwork. First off, the sharing controls are pretty solid. When you're working on a project with others, you can choose if they can view only, leave comments, or have even editing rights. Now, pCloud doesn't have built-in document editors, so there will be no real-time collaboration like you maybe use with Google Docs where you can see multiple heads popping up in the document and everybody can write their sentence and you can see everything in real time. No, it's not gonna happen. Honestly, if you're a team of freelancer, that's looking to be productive with your cloud storage, <sighs> pCloud really ain't that. You, you will need pCloud for the bigger files, but then you will need another option to work on spreadsheets and documents so something like Google Cloud um, or Microsoft Office, for example. There's no option to integrate it with the likes of Microsoft Office or Google's productivity app. So you have to purchase those separately or you just use the, the free version, essentially. Let's talk speed. Now, Remember those in-house tests we mentioned earlier with sync.com? We ran pCloud through the same thing. The results were pretty impressive. It clocked in about eight and a half minutes for uploads and around seven and a half for downloads. And that's pretty quick to be honest. Now, I know some of you out there are real data nerds like me. And if you wanna geek out over all the details, I've included, as I said before, all the speed test result in the description box below. So you have all the info you need to make a decision on your next cloud storage purchase. Let's talk about dollars. In our recent best free cloud storage video, pCloud took the top spot. They offer a free plan with 10 gigabytes of storage, but if you need more space, pCloud's got a wide range of paid plans. The two terabyte plan is slightly more expensive than sync.com, but not by much. Also, pCloud has lifetime plans. They have storage ranging from 500 gigabytes to 10 terabytes for life, or at least for as long as the company's around. Well, pCloud has been around for a while, but you get it. Lifetime, it means essentially the life of the company. pCloud is always offering huge discounts on these plans as well, so it's worth keeping an eye on them and we'll update all the links in the description box below. So when you click on them, you always get the best deal for the current pCloud deal that's out there. Let's chat about OneDrive. So. Security-wise, OneDrive's got the basics down. They're using 256 AES encryption for your files at rest and TLS for data in transit. But you might want to lean in a bit closer for this one. OneDrive is missing zero-knowledge encryption. So in theory, the company can scan user files if they want to. Another security feature that's available in the personal is the personal vault. How it works is you can only access files in the vault either through a one-time passcode, your fingerprint, or your lovely little face. It's good because if anyone does get a hold of your device, they ain't getting in your vault. Speaking of privacy, Let's talk data collection for a second. OneDrive, or rather Microsoft, is gathering info on your devices, how you use OneDrive, and metrics on how you're tapping into features. They might use this data to send ads your way. Not exactly music to my privacy loving ears, but it's pretty standard these days. For most of us, OneDrive stores data in centers within our own region. So if you're in the US, your data is stored within US data centers. Let's dive into OneDrive's features. So you already know about the vault. 
but what else stands out? I like the files on demand feature on the desktop apps. You can see all the files in your sync folder, but they won't download to the local hard drive unless you want to interact with them. It's great for quick access and for freeing up local storage space. If you are a Windows user and you use Outlook for email, you can attach files directly from OneDrive and embed them into your message. Not a groundbreaking feature, but it certainly makes workflows a lot smoother. And as for the desktop apps, OneDrive feels just part of the furniture, especially on Windows. I like the interface too. It's clean, simple, and that's also true on the web and the mobile apps. As for compatibility, you can get it on Mac OS, iOS, and Android. As for Linux users, sorry guys, maybe next time. Let's talk about collaboration. First off, OneDrive is tightly integrated with Microsoft 365. You get access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and even on the free plan. Although it's only the web and mobile versions on the free plan, and for the fully fledged desktop versions, you'll need to upgrade the account to the pay plans. Obviously, they come with a little bit more options like OneNote and an editor and more perks. So you may want to consider that if it's interesting to you. Our team can work together in real time and you can set editing permissions as well. It's very similar to Google Docs and other workspace apps in this sense, really. It just comes down to what ecosystem you prefer. You can share files and folders easily, set permissions and create shareable links. And if you're on a business account, you can even password protect those links and set expiration dates. All in all, OneDrive is awesome for productivity and working with your team. It blows both sync.com and pcloud out of the park and of course mega as well. Let's talk speed. So we put OneDrive through the same test we've been using for all these services. So uploads, OneDrive clocked in at, well, let's see, seven and a half minutes. And in our rankings that actually land OneDrive as one of the fastest cloud storage services. Mega is fractionally quicker, but it is not noticeable without actually timing it. Now, downloads. It took just shy of seven and a half minutes to download our test files. Pretty good, and it outpaced Mega in the download race. All right, it's time to break down OneDrive's pricing structure. It's one terabyte plan isn't exactly the cheapest. It's not that much cheaper than sync.com's two terabytes plan, for example. And this plan has some useful add-ons though, which start to justify its value. You can have data and device protection with Microsoft Defender, Copilot Pro, Microsoft's AI companion. That's probably useful if you're working a lot with text. And you also get premium access to all those Office apps we know and love or love to hate, depending on your relationship with Excel. Now, there's also a family plan that you might like. It's pretty good value and it covers up to six people. Each person gets their own terabyte of storage. And for all you business folks out there, Microsoft's got plans for you to hear. Actually, it's pretty valuable and it really depends on the size of your team as you'll essentially pay per user on those plans. And there you have it. Three alternatives to Mega that might just be your perfect match. If I'm picking, I'm probably going with sync.com. It has all the security and privacy we look for. And that little addition of being able to use Microsoft Office apps makes it a real idea for those who need a little bit of productivity spice power from their cloud storage. Now, it's certainly not perfect. You may want to add a few other cloud storage services here and there just um, to make your setup perfect. But it really depends on your use case. But that's why I'm saying use case, pCloud is great for those who really need power from productivity tools. And OneDrive is a solid option as well. And, and by the way, ignoring all of these and, and sticking with Mega isn't a terrible idea either. It's, it's a fantastic cloud storage service, but you're probably watching this video because something is missing and you want to switch to another service. So which one really caught your eye? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, yay, to subscribe, yay, and ding, ding, hit that notification bell. Until next time, see ya.